And you know I'm a sucker for low-hanging fruit, and this is low-hanging fruit, which is the most delicious fruit of them all. Uh, so if you hadn't heard yet, and maybe not, maybe not, maybe you, maybe you missed this one. So the, the cheating Astros owner Jim Crane, the despicable Jim Crane, uh, is having a coronary over Brian Cashman. And Brian Cashman doesn't work for Houston. He is employed by the New York Yankees. But if you didn't hear that part of the story, so the Yankee general manager uh, somewhat recently said that the illegal and horrific cheating scheme from the Astros was what prevented Brian Cashman's team from winning a World Series. That, uh, that was a shot at Jim Crane and his beloved cheaters. And Houston played the Yankees in the 2017 American League Championship Series, and we know that they won, and they were cheating, and then they played the World Series. They were cheating again. Uh, they didn't actually win that. They, they tied in the run total. Uh, so Crane did an interview with uh, Bob Nightingale behind a paywall on the USA Today. Who's paying for the USA Today, by the way? Anyway, uh, so they did an interview, and the quote came, came bouncing around the echo chamber. The owner of the Astros said, I found his, meaning Brian Cashman's comments, to be extremely strange. Uh, he said, there's the letter, and you were doing it too. You were there, dude. What are you talking about? The Astros owner complained, stomping his foot, I imagine, in my head. Uh, the letter he was referencing was from Rob Manfred. We, we talked about this. We did a monologue about this before I went on my cross-country sojourn. And that letter to some, was unbelievably incriminating, revealing that the Yankees also participated on a much smaller scale in sign-stealing. A uh, quote continues, uh, Jim Crane, the cheating Astros owner, added, if I was one of the teams and I knew our team was doing it, meaning cheating, I'd keep my mouth shut and just go about our business, uh, Crane added, but he said, listen, I can only control what's going on here. I can't control what the other guys are doing. Well, you didn't absolutely control what's going on in Houston because it was going on right under your nose, and you didn't get punished, you bum. All right, so let us discuss. I've kind of revealed my hand. I'm a bad poker player, but I'll discuss anyway. Uh, question, thumbs up or thumbs down? Does the Astros owners quote, you were doing it too. Does that defense work? So two thumbs down, two thumbs down on this. I've got king-sized bed, lozenge, and matchbook. And we'll connect all of this together, all these random things together. So first of all, this cat Jim Crane, this aristocrat, continues to be a goofball. Uh, this guy, this guy Jim Crane here, uh, does not get it. The word obtuse would apply to Jim Crane. His latest commentary, we just gave you the money quote, uh, his latest comments are in line with the previous rigmarole uh, that he has he's spewed over the recent years. The Astros, let me be very clear here. For those of you in the back of the room, the Astros have been and continue to be the scumbags of baseball. If you want to know who the bad guys are? It's them. Nobody likes you, Astros. Nobody. You are universally loathed. Baseball fans can't agree on anything. It's a regional sport. Teams in the Northeast don't care about teams in the West. Teams in the West don't care about teams in the Northeast, vice versa, Midwest, etc. The one common ground that every man, woman, and child who still loves baseball agrees on. F- the Astros, the cheating Astros. That's it. That's the only common ground. We can't agree on anything, but we can agree on that. You are loath. You are. And, and this is a king-sized bed of razor blades that you made yourself, and you got to sleep on it for the rest of time. And, and Jim Crane and his slime ball baseball team continue to attempt to use a version of, but everyone was doing it as a defense. Now, I have said from the very beginning, it does not work, and you continue to bang the drum on this, you morons. 
I understand that this is somehow cathartic uh, for the Astros, but it does not pass the Maller smell test. Doesn't test. It doesn't pass it. It does not. All right. Let me explain something to you. I'm going to explain this to you like you're, you're five years old in kindergarten. All right. You get pulled over for speeding. You know, you're, you're going down the highway. Say the speed limit's 65 miles an hour. You're going 85 miles an hour. You're 20 miles over the speed limit. You go to court. You get in front of the judge. You say, Mr. Judge or Mrs. Judge, let me tell you something. All right? But everyone was doing it. Yeah. How's that going to work out for you? Uh, when they get done laughing, uh, they will uh, tell you you have to pay your, your fine, and then that's it. It doesn't work. And yet they continue to do it. That's the only leg they have to stand on is the but everyone was doing it defense, which does not, does not, exempt you from the scolding. Now, secondly, are the Yankees and Astros equal in this debauchery? And I'm shaking my head. No, 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 no. Uh, This is one thing that has driven Jim Crane's baseball team into extended neurosis. And I love it. I love it. This was the unexpected gift. You thought you knew what you were getting for your birthday, and then you get the surprise gift, and you love it. Now, they were assuming the position, they being the cheating Astros, they were assuming the position that this letter, this Fugazi letter that was released a few weeks back, was going to break the Yankee franchise, and and it was going to be happy days or here again, a Tony Soprano special, bada bing, bada boom. Unfortunately, for the Astros, That MLB letter was underwhelming, underwhelming, almost no new information. It was leftover meatloaf is what it was. Take it or leave it. Now, as a result, as a direct result of that letter, this was a bittersweet lozenge to swallow for the Houston baseball team. Did the Yankees violate the rules? Yes. Side by side, what the Yankees did compared to the Astros, small potatoes? Yes. And 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 so much for being let off the hook, which is what the Astros assume. You dopes. The cheating Astros mastered the electronic sign stealing with an elaborate espionage scandal. We need to remind people who are, who are losing the grasp of this. Uh, and, and they took things to a new frontier that separated themselves from the 29 other teams in professional baseball at the major league level. Now, final thought. So do you agree or disagree with Jim Crane, who also in this interview uh, implied that the Astros and their fan base are the victims of unfair abuse. Well, that was the implication, and this is poppy, as in poppycock is what that is. And so I would advise, I would advise you to keep an eye on Jim Crane because what he did, what he did here, the owner of the Astros, is he he got out the matchbook. And this is textbook gaslighting. He used the match from the matchbook gaslighting. It is psychological manipulation. He is sowing the seeds of doubt. Do not allow him to do that. Not on my watch. And I'm on the watchtower right now. I'm in the catbird seat. Not going to allow it. He's trying to make fans question their own memory, their perception of what happened. And you're going to start questioning your sanity if you listen to this goofball. Don't be a rube. Don't fall for this. Don't be a Nimrod. All right? And this owner is a Mama Luke. He's full of malarkey. Full of malarkey. Now, Crane is upset about fans cussing out players. I guess his players are so delicate they can't handle that. Boo, hoo, 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 hoo. Uh, one of the other complaints I hear a lot is it's been five years. It's old news. Who wants to hear about this? That's also nonsense, you dummy. There is no statue of limitations. They were ma- how, how many years after the, the Chicago Black Sox scandal were they making movies about that with Shoeless Joe Jackson? The difference is he actually got punished. Let me explain this to you here, okay? I'll do the arithmetic. So the Astros cheated in 2017. 
The report did not come out until a couple years after that that they were cheating, late 2019. There was an investigation that came out that was supposedly wrapped up, a thorough investigation, I question that, that did not show to the light of day. I believe it was February of 2020, just before the world shut down because of, hello, a pandemic. We had that tossed in there. Uh, Therefore, this is still a fresh stain. And there, there's no bleach. There's nothing to get rid of that stain. Uh, and so my advice to Jim Crane, the cheating Astro owner, is to uh, call an emergency number because you, you need the old wambulance is what you need here. And, and when the gutless commissioner, the spineless commissioner, Rob Manford, chose not to do his job and punish the players that were doing this and and uh, revoke the, the championship trophy, just a little piece of metal, a little hunk of metal. Uh, he chose not to do that, but you might remember <laughs> since this uh, slime ball Rob Manford didn't do his job because he's incompetent and didn't punish the cheaters, he said, I, I believe, I'm paraphrasing this, but he said when the announcement came down that the investigation had, had found this, he said that the Astro shame would be the punishment that, that, that they get, that the fans booing them and heckling them would be their punishment. So they didn't void the World Series. Not a single player who participated in that, uh, not Altuve, Bregman, uh, Correa, you go down the whole list there, uh, not a single player punished. No asterisk. They wouldn't put an asterisk on there. Nothing. The only price that my, Rob Manfred was admitting the Astros would pay would be heckling. So here we are, a couple years later, Major League Baseball fans are still unleashing the rage. And you've got Jim Crane playing the victim card, wallowing in victimhood, which is pathetic. So pathetic, but so on brand for that franchise. Can they can they contract and get rid of the Astros? Can they get rid of them? What a terrible franchise. Uh, it's so embarrassing. So embarrassing. You might want to text the Astros and let them know the in the court of public opinion, they have been sentenced to 25 years to life by real baseball fans. And uh, they'll be hopping mad uh, for many, 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 many years to come. So you have that to look forward to.